Eastern PA weather authority meteorologist Bobby Martichur with your outlook for September 1st, 2017. Start of meteorological fall is today. Uh, we are going to have a partly cloudy day. Much cooler though because we're going to have uh, high pressure off to the north behind yesterday's cold front driving in winds from the north and that is going to keep us uh, on the chilly side today comparative to average not really chilly i'd, I'd say that relative to average of course uh, but temperatures in most areas will be stuck in the 60s may get to 70 or maybe slightly above down here by the philadelphia metro south jersey and delaware but elsewhere uh, we're stuck in the 60s today this down here is the remnants of of harvey and that will be moving through overnight tonight late overnight tonight into uh, saturday much of saturday and saturday overnight so uh, this will not be uh, heavy like it will be in the uh, tennessee valley as it gets over to this region though we're just expecting uh, remnant showers and that will come in again uh, looks like late overnight for our southern areas and then it moves uh, further northeast during the course of the day on saturday with scattered showers Another wave is going to move through overnight into very early Sunday morning before this pulls away. Sunday is going to be one of those days where it starts off damp with uh, a leftover shower and clouds. Then in the afternoon, you have partial clearing, and uh, it should be much improved as the system wraps up and heads up into New England. Let's go to the NAM High Res Feature Simulator Radar. I'm going to start this off at 2 a.m. Saturday. Now, this is overnight. Again, southwestern south areas, excuse me, uh, and also out in central PA, we'll have some showers moving in. Uh, a little bit earlier overnight and then that those chances will increase toward daybreak as we head further east as we get to 5 a.m you can see that spreading over more of the area and then then by the eight o'clock in the morning we have showers pretty much entrenched across the entire region so uh, this will continue to lift off to the north you might get a little bit of a break in between possibly but then the scattered showers on and will become more on and off uh, during the uh, afternoon and uh, evening hours we have just another batch that's going to come through overnight and uh, that will be exiting and moving everything out of here by uh, Sunday morning we think again Sunday starts off damp but then we have improving conditions later in the day uh, going back to the global models now we're going to go forward from this point and as the, again the system is going to pull away um, Labor Day Monday if you're looking for a, uh, a really good day in this holiday weekend it would definitely be on Monday Monday as uh, uh, winds are going to shift to the southwest we're going to be mostly sunny skies uh, you can see by the, the way the isobars are pointed here. These are the southwesterly winds. Of course, this is very warm temperatures. Uh, we should get back up in the 80s again, uh, at least lower 80s for some areas, and then uh, probably even higher on Tuesday uh, with that southwesterly flow continuing. Uh, mostly sunny on Monday, partly cloudy on Tuesday, but uh, we're expecting any rain to hold off uh, on Tuesday. Here is a look at... Uh, uh, Monday evening and then we get into Tuesday you see this little uh, see a cold front moving in from the west It's going to be slowed up uh, and that's because there's like we said yesterday There's a ridge out here in the Atlantic that's pretty strong. It's going to slow its advance eastward So uh, even though it's kind of marching toward us here on on Tuesday our coverage area starts right where the front line is here So we don't expect any uh, precipitation to make it here at least by Tuesday evening but it's going to be a different story here once we get to, to uh, Wednesday. Again, this front is very slow to move eastward. It may be an area of low pressure trying to develop along that. It could enhance uh, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. But we expect uh, probably mostly cloudy on, on Wednesday. And then we're, we're uh, expecting those scattered showers and thunderstorms to be possible along that frontal boundary. And that's during the day on Wednesday. And then overnight, it starts to dry out a little bit after midnight. And we get into a partly cloudy day here, it looks like, here on Thursday. Still a lot of mess down here in a tropical feed developing down to our southwest but uh, that looks like it's going to stay to our southwest uh, for Thursday so we should should be partly cloudy with high pressure you can see that right here it's just settling over the area everybody's worried about uh, Hurricane Irma and uh, it's something to keep in mind and keep in the, keep in the back of your mind anyway uh, you can see it has developed into a very powerful hurricane this thing went from a tropical storm at one advisory to a category two hurricane in uh, just a span of six hours but you can see a uh, well-defined eye and nice convection wrap around the center uh, so this is uh, but the, if you look at these uh, uh, the the lines of of latitude here or excuse me lines of longitude uh, this is right here where it's last frame here is about 34 35 west so or so it's not really uh, anywhere close it's thousands of miles out in the Atlantic uh, it's closer actually to Africa than it is to uh, the uh, uh, the Caribbean or uh, the Bahamas or anything like that so the official track from the National Hurricane Center does take this uh, to a major hurricane so this is gonna be something to watch most models do have this uh, getting down to the 930s 920s even in some cases uh, but it will be approaching uh, the leeward islands but at this point where it's expected to be at 8 a.m tuesday this is still 400 miles 
or thereabout east of the Lesser Antilles, which are right here. Uh, so at this point, I think uh, Tuesday morning is Tuesday is the day we really need to start uh, paying attention to this. Uh, there'll be a lot of back and forth on the model guidance. We've seen that over the last several runs. Some models are trying to take this into uh, just north of the islands here and then into the Gulf of Mexico. Some models are trying to curve it toward the southeastern part of the United States. Uh, some are even still trying to recurve it, but I think the recurve is probably less likely now, and I will just say that because uh, the recent trends in the model guidance have been tr showing a trough split uh, over the northeast United States, which will allow the western Atlantic Ridge that's driving this thing westward uh, and keeping it this at, at, at this uh, latitude. Uh, it is actually expanding westward. So uh, because of that, we're going to expect that it's going to affect this either somewhere in here, probably uh, either the, if not the islands themselves or maybe just north of it, but somebody's going to get hit by this and it's not going to be pretty. So uh, it does look like a, a major hurricane that's going to be heading toward first the uh, Leeward Islands, then these uh, the other islands of Puerto Rico and uh, Dominican Republic, and then we have uh, the Bahamas over here. After that, it's still a question mark. We have no idea, and nobody has any idea what it's going to do after that point. We just want to worry about getting to Tuesday, see what we look like at that point. So in the meantime, just enjoy your weekend. Don't worry about this too much yet. Just uh, keep this in the back of your mind for something to look at next week, and we have a better handle on hopefully where it's going at that point. And hopefully, we don't have any direct U.S. impacts, but uh, we'll see when we get there. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is your outlook for September 1st, 2017. Have a great Friday.